Every time I close my eyes, I can touch the colors around me. Suddenly, I realize everything I thought was impossible. Wow, okay, you're the one that gets like dragged off by the hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. How, was that? How was it working on that set? Because the Voltori thing, it's always described. And whereas the rest of it's very lush and vibrant, meadowish. Oh yeah, it's so dark and the dungeon is so real. The set is very, very intense, and I mean it's not hard to to feel the energy because it's just so massive. And the actor Michael Sheen is so good. All of the, the actors in, in the Voltari are just phenomenal. So it's great to be a part of that. You're one of the few humans that are actually in, human characters in the movie. And obviously you're a victim. So what was it like for you to, to play like a scene where you're getting only thing that's scary hurt, is that, you know I'm scared well, um, for education. It, it was school, like, yeah. it's very uh where I go and I'm very good to be able to show scenes with vulnerability. Um, it's it's a nice side to be able to, to show. I, it's because it's very interesting and and it helps it helps make the vampires look even scarier, you know, by showing that. Um, and it wasn't hard because those big guys are just so. Yeah, I was gonna say, were were, Char were Charlie Bewley and Dan Cudmore kind to you? They were so kind. I, I was having to to think of someone mean because these guys were just not mean. They're like, are you okay? Do we? Well, they're kind of cut up. They are. They're hilarious. Oh, they're so much fun. They they brought a lot of life to the set. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. So, Melissa Rosenberg is one of the few women that you can meet eye to eye almost, right? How amazing is that? Yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. So, how does this premiere compare with the others that you've been involved with? I think they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. I don't know how, but they just keep getting bigger and bigger. So, it's... I mean, it's a blast for me to come out here and then, you know, get sort of blinded by all the photographers and then lose my hearing from the screaming fans and then lose my voice walking down this black carpet and, and then hear like extreme screams and then go, oh, one of the three are here. Yeah. That's awesome. So it's cool. How is it different working with Bill than it was with Chris and David? Everyone's got their unique styles, you know, everyone sort of, and the great thing about that is I, I, I find as an actor what I got into it for is the fact that everything changes and that's what I like. And so having each director have their own sort of style is cool. Um, Chris, awesome, zen-like, but everything's ultra prepared. David, very, um, very specific, very specific about everything. And then Bill, like just such a genuinely sweet man, but at the same time has such a great understanding of, of story and where it should, how it should come onto film and giving actors a chance to kind of act, you know, and really try certain things and, and work together and collaborate. So it's great. This time two years ago, sorry, Lori. This time two years ago, you were the new kid on the block and now you got to work with all these other new castmates. How is that? How did you, how did you help them kind of come into the saga? I don't think I needed to help them. <laughs> you know, I think, I think they've done pretty good for themselves. Uh, you know, there's little things here and there on set. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all actors. We're all professional. We know what we're doing, right? You would hope so. Uh, they're all great on set, but you know, little questions about certain things outside of, of the filming and it's great to kind of lend whatever experience I've gotten over the years to them as, and, and help them in any way I could. How was it, I know maybe you can't answer this, this is a Breaking Dawn 2 question. Yes. Oh, okay. How was it to finally get like kind of the uh, the mojo, uh, uh, what's the word, oh gosh, like the battle sequence, like the, we're getting to finally do what we need to do and battle these Cullens. kill Bree though. Well, yeah. Uh, my character's gotten to have a little bit of fun throughout the film. Well, you had some fun in this one. Uh, then Bree. Yeah. And then you, well, you yeah. kill some poor, poor woman delivering a letter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just merely giving her a hug. Uh -huh. I was lonely that day. Yeah, it's fun for me to play this character who gets to have, you know, I mean, for me, I just, I, I, I like the darker side. I like, I, I think it's a lot of fun to, to attach yourself to a darker character. Um, they're just so layered and, and, and yeah, and in these series, I get to have, I get to have fun with them. What, what do you think Felix does in his off time? In his off time? Yeah. Oh man, uh, crocheting. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe a little bit of yoga Pilates. You know, I want to pull a muscle. 
um, and then uh, working on uh, working on diets and, and, and really kind of getting down to his cooking. You know, I think maybe hiring Bobby Filet to come in and Jamie Oliver and teach him. Or maybe eat them. Afterwards. <laughs> Why not? Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll see you later. All right. Get to work.